Okay, so was this Saturday? I remember it was a beautiful day. I was juggling a soccer ball like the whole time. I didn't even take any swings. <laughs> and next thing I remember is waking up. Yeah, it was a really nice day. I remember waking up same time as always for games. You were in first batter? I believe I was second that yeah, day. Yeah, that person must have got out. Yeah. Yeah, because then maybe I blew. On April 18th, 2015, I played my last softball game on this field. There's only one way I know how to tell my story. I've been an athlete my whole life, and like every athlete, I've had my fair share of bumps and bruises. That one actually fractured my ankle. And this one made it impossible to sit for two weeks. And this one was an elbow to the face. But that just comes with being an athlete. That's just one part of being an athlete. I've been an athlete my whole life and I've been pretty disciplined my whole life. I used to love the gym. <laughs> And that's just another thing that comes with being an athlete. Woman in the world. One hand. But so many other things come with being an athlete, like team bonding and the sense of freedom to be the greatest you want to be, as long as you put in the hard work. I believe that some of the greatest athletes have the most fun when they're working hard. At least I know I did. Being an athlete comes with many memories. And I'm just so happy that I can look back and remember how hard I used to push my body yeah. and how much fun I had doing it. I remember you got on base and you were on first and it was known that Bella was quick and that she was most likely going to steal. And on the play, Picard steals second base. Runner goes and Zamora throws and the runner is safe at second base. So a stolen base for Bella Picard. I don't remember how many pitches went in. What I do remember was the ball was high, it was left and high. Being at short, shaded left. Pretty sure it was supposed to be a hit and run because I remember Bella pausing and I'm also pausing too because it's a hit and run I think she's gonna steal she's going and I'm kind of like you know like eh, eh, eh. and the ball was high and wide and the batter I don't know if they swung and missed. yeah she she's, she, she missed because it was a hit and missed, run and yeah. she had to get the yeah she had yeah to get the and runner from first goes Picard swings through it advancing and everyone will be safe maybe a hit and run in place there um you know Yoz was taken off on the pitch and an outside pitch that Picard knew that she just had to get the bat on, so... So the ball's high, so it's already thrown our catcher off. She stuttered, I stuttered. Now I'm trying to run as fast as I can to get to second base. Our catcher, the ball's now like high. He's trying to like get back in her place to throw it down. Bella's running over as fast as she can, so we're both going full speed towards second base. And I remember the catcher, Kayla, my very good friend, she threw the ball high and wide to the right of the bag. And I'm very tall, so for me, I knew I was gonna get the ball. Just unfortunately, the way it happened, I remember kind of like getting on my toes and reaching for it, and as I'm doing this, um, Bella isn't like a normal person sliding <laughs> into the ground. She's supermanning in the air, and my knee made direct contact with her helmet, and we both fell. I remember getting up, and turning around and seeing her not moving. And that's pretty much, I think, when my heart stopped. I had enough time to walk in circles around second base and then I felt so uncomfortable that I walked out to the outfield, which I usually don't walk out to the outfield, but I didn't know what else to do. And I remember I wanted to be near someone. Well, you wanted and to be near someone that hit me. Yeah, that was... and, and I remember sitting there and I started tearing up and I'm, 
as the years go on, you get, you learn that vulnerability is a good thing. But at the time I was still just a hard headed, like, oh, I'm not going to show any, but I remember tearing up and being very scared. It, it was like, I was scared and I was just staring. I was like, okay, she's going to get up. She's going to get up. I woke up, I just remember a lot of dirt in my mouth. I didn't really know where I was. It took a couple seconds. My armpit was just shooting. It was like electrocuting. I knew something, something wasn't right. Just, it was, it was eerie, very eerie. Upon releasing me, they had to have a full meeting with who were gonna be my like caregivers. So it was my parents. They chose they would be there 24-7. And they come into Boston. We sit down with the whole neuro team at Spalding. Um, and I I'll just I'll never forget uh, my dad said, Do I need a ramp? Like, I'm just a goofball, so I was like, hmm. Like, I like tried to like laugh through it. And it was just quiet. And I was like, why is that? Like, I just wanted someone to rip a fart, like something. <laughs> And then my dad said, is, is that, can you say that's a permanent thing? What about her foot? It's completely paralyzed. Like, what is she going to do? And that rung in my head. And it's hard too when you're in a hospital with complete quadriplegics, you know, stroke victims, everyone has their own battle. And I just remember being like, oh my gosh, thank God. Like, he really thinks I'm going to walk. We were working on that in the parallel bars and I felt confident, but there's something about that absence of muscle reflex in the body that I've learned is just terrifying. It's terrifying. Here it is go. what it is, yeah. Trailing St. Bonaventure, 6-5 and 8-10 softball. Pitch. Gradient hits it in the air. Left field going back. Foul to the track and it's out of here! Do you believe it? <laughs> and Ali Bradian, a walk-off home run. Have you had your hair up this whole time? Action. Did you come to the hospital? No, but I talked to your coach. So maybe my coach did. Maybe your coach gave you the car. After the second game ended, I remember I couldn't get it off my mind. It's always good to get just a nice gesture from someone, like even a card, you know? It's, it's true. It's, it's just nice. <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> so wasn't that. But <laughs> I remember walking over to Walgreens, which is right off Fordham campus, and sitting there probably for about 10 minutes saying, what the F kind of card do I get someone that I just knocked out? <laughs> like, how do you say sorry for like effing your game? What, what Hallmark card <laughs> is out there to say? And mind you, it's sorry about yeah, your Yeah, and neck. mind you, at Walgreens, the cards are not cheap. It's not like it's a dollar. They're like five not to $10 good. in New York. Do I get the $10 card? Do I get the $5 card? Do I get a 99 cent cheap yeah. card? So you remember getting that card? Yeah, and, and I remember be like, okay, what kind of candy do you think she's gonna like? I have no idea what kind of candy she's gonna like. Doesn't everyone like Hershey's or mm. Skittles or something? So I probably got yeah. you like Hershey's or Reese's and Skittles because okay. I didn't know what else. In the car that she rode, she apologized. I just remember telling the Fordham head coach, please, please, please tell Allie it's okay. After the first card, a few months went by and I didn't really know what was going on. Just part of me wanted to reach out, so I wrote you a message. Like, you wouldn't expect hearing from someone, you know, on the other end of it. Like, that was 
what I needed, I guess. I, I was awkward the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you were, but it's. I felt I felt so awkward and just she didn't want to talk to me. Like, is she even in the right state of mind? Right. To, yeah. to answer, like, can she do that? And then I remember sending you something else, like around Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, Bella. Yay! Uh -oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> That's not safe. Come on, let's go. You're not safe. I'm pretty spiritual. You know, God is great. God is good. He, he's the man. I sent you Jeremiah 29 oh, 11. Yeah, yeah. Super ironic because that was your quote. And yeah. I just saw a, a mug in TJ Maxx. I kind of had an idea that you... I mean, you went to St. Joe's, so I kind of was like, yeah, yeah, she, she, she's got <laughs> she a little God in her, right? Yeah. It just was very fitting for the situation. Uplifting. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper and not harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. That was like my favorite verse. So when she sent me that, I was like, yeah. It was just weird how yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, and then I also sent you socks. And I remember thinking too, like, damn, I wish I could get her dog like booties to match. <laughs> really? Could you imagine Benny and booties? That would be so cute. She sent me like a little advice. She's like, I know, I know that you're dealing with nerve pain. What was it? It was black, uh, black uh, tart cherry juice. Like yes, cherry yes. Tart juice. Teammates matter. Uh, support matters. Morning. I was trying to apply to med school, and I had this big grad school test at the end of the year, and I just started panicking and like being like, I, I, I can't juggle. I need to pick what's important, and it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it freaking broke my heart to think that I was leaving something that you had taken away from Yeah. Me. And like willingly, but I knew that what I want to do in the future and in my plans, like I will help more people. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to help you by, by playing, playing softball. Right. That's where we both came to that realization of, remember my answer to you? Mm -hmm. I was like, so she reached out and was like, look, I wanted to play this last season for you. Um, and it meant so much to me because at the time, like everyone kind of just, their life went on, their softball career went on. Um, I, I couldn't understand that when you said that, when you were like, I can't play softball, like I was like, Oh, thank God. Like it was a release for me too. Cause I'm like, we're holding on to something so tight and like, Breath you know that picture air. of, there's a meme and it's like a little kid holding a teddy bear and God, like a hand's taking it away and it's like, no, I, I, I want it. And then God has like a bigger teddy bear behind hmm. him. We didn't want to let go of this game of softball. We wanted to, you know, I wanted to prove doctors wrong. I, I still do. I will play again. And hey, we were playing catch today. Yeah, we did play. When she said... I gotta focus on med school. It's so symbolic, because obviously I'm gonna have rather you help <laughs> others in their physicality than yeah. play. And I just remember that was a huge moment for us. First of all, thank you for even thinking about playing for me, because that's, it means so much. But now that you say that, you know what? You're right, let's move on together in this. Like, it's just so much bigger than softball. And I think you get sucked into thinking it's all about that. It's, you know, when especially it's your whole life, I never, Sports are everything. It's been over three years now, and mm. it's like this awkward time for three years. It's like, all right, like, does she like me? Does yeah. she not? I mean, you know, yeah. we were like friendly, but it's like, is she cool? But like, no. It was like when you like pet someone with like a broom. You know what I mean? Like, that's where we were at in the beginning. <laughs> but now we're like, I don't know what that reference was. <laughs> like, 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 like you care, but like you're still like timid. Like, <laughs> but, but, yeah. but no. And then when she answered, I was like, I. Don't know how I got so lucky to have someone so kind on the other end. And I know that I would do the same thing if it was the other way around. I mean, and here we are now forming this like amazing friendship that yeah. we can carry out through the rest of our lives. And just um, forever, literally forever. We want people to learn from this. Learning from other people's experience compresses time. Whether it's about um, going through traumatic times and injuries, going through mental health issues. Compassion. Compassion, being there for each other. It, it's not hard it's not. and there's a bigger picture it's like when you know what it's like to be down um and you see other people down you just want to help them get back up the main point is it's the simple act of her being 
like, yo, I'm sorry. And the simple thing yeah. that I said is, dude, don't, yeah, you're forget, don't worry, dude. Her, this, this has changed. Uh, it's okay. And, and her forgiveness, what, like, do, do I deserve this forgiveness? And I know it wasn't my fault. And I, it's an accident. But her willingness to forgive something that at the time she thought ruined her life. And I hope now she no, finds yeah. it is like a blessing in disguise. I mean, it's 2020. It needed to take, ironically, three years, like yeah. symbolic. Um, it and it needed to take that time, I think, for both of us to heal because I had never verbalized the words, I'm sorry. And I remember I just said, hey, I just want to let you know that I, yeah. I'm sorry. And I remember uh, bawling my eyes we, out yeah. because. Oh my God. And I felt that. <laughs> Come, I can't let go of something that I know God forgives me for yeah. and you forgive me for and it's and it's was such a learning process and yeah and I think that your willingness to forgive and um, really find peace in the situation and I think that that's what I found too and I, if you are on the other end of the accident and you didn't get hurt and the other person's life changed forever yeah. um, it's okay to be sad like it's okay for you to feel things because it's the only way you're going to be able to move on past it. And I channeled it into working out harder, like working harder in school and reaching out to her when I could, because again, I think for those first three years, it was, that was our like speed bump. It was like every time we connected throughout this recovery, which is, we could probably count on one hand. Part of me was like, she freaking hate me. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're not answering me. Every time we connected was like, <sighs> like it is a full breath. Who else is in our position right now? I think it's so necessary to share. It's it's we live in such an open world now where people can literally walk around in public like with their shirt off. Yet when it comes to this series like life stuff that happen, people are very soft about it. It's it's bigger than softball, it's bigger than my workouts, it's bigger than you know, it's just bigger and that's what you you guys are going to see just transform this bring back the right side that it's been three and a half over three and a half years and man I've been bringing it and uh, we just both know it's the right time to do something greater so get ready get ready <laughs> and softball high five ready